Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus. Today's discussion is in the NIV versus KJV Truth in Scripture playlist and is entitled Galatians chapter 2 verses 7 through 14, addendum number 1. So this is an addendum to that earlier video. So please, if you haven't already done so, check out the earlier video to see the main points. I just wanted to give some additional information in this particular addendum video. So we're going to look at this Greek Strong's word 2786 kephas, which means a rock, but it's an Aramaic word. So it'd be the Aramaic nickname Lord Jesus gave to Simon Peter, right? So kephas is a rock in Aramaic, just like Petros is a rock in Koine Greek. So kephas, or a variation of that, is used nine times in the New Testament. Kipha, three occurrences. Kiphan, one occurrence. And kephas, five occurrences. So I wanted to go through those with you for this additional information. We're looking at, in the Gospel accounts, John chapter 1, verse 42. Uh, Kephas is used, as is Petros, NIV version. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Kephas, which when translated is Peter, King James Version. And he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Kephas, which is by interpretation a stone, because Petros means rock or stone. So notice St. John interprets us what the Aramaic word means. So we're told that Kephas means Peter. Now let's go through the epistles. All of this written by St. Paul. Starting in 1 Corinthians, you'll see that St. Paul refers to, and it obviously is in context, St. Peter as Kephas in these four verses, starting with 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12. Now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I have Apollos, and I have Kephas, and I of Christ. And in every single Greek manuscript, it says Kepha there. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 22, whether Paul or Apollos or Kephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. Notice how that harkens back to what he's describing basically in chapter 1, verse 12. And yet again, every single Greek manuscript says Kephas. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 5, have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as other apostles, and as the brethren of the Lord and Kephas? Again, every manuscript, Kephas. Then finally, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 5, and that he was seen of Kephas, then of the twelve, referring to Lord Jesus. Obviously, all of these refer to St. Peter, especially uh, uh, chapter 15, verse 5 there. It can be no other individual. Again, 100% of manuscripts are Kephas. So notice, in 1 Corinthians, St. Paul refers to St. Peter as Kephas four separate times. Okay. So now let's continue in another epistle, which was the point of the main video, Galatians. We're going to start in Galatians chapter 2, verse 7. I'm not going to show you the English. Please check out the other video. But in every single Greek manuscript, it says Petros, obviously St. Peter there. The next verse, again, every single Greek manuscript, Petro. Now here's where it gets interesting. The very next verse, it refers to this individual as Kephas. So, is that St. Peter being called Kephas, which happened four times in 1 Corinthians? Or is that an other individual, which in context it suggests it is? And then you would say, well, why would you refer to St. Peter as Petros in two verses, and then as this different name in the very next verse, unless it was another person who happened to have that name, that Aramaic name? Now here's where it gets more interesting. If you go to Galatians chapter 2, verse 11, you'll see that 58% of the manuscripts refer to Kephas. And again, is that Kephas St. Peter or is it someone else? 42% refer to Petros. So that would suggest it is St. Peter. And then you see the same thing in chapter 2, verse 14. Again, 58% Kepha, 42% Petro. So obviously, if you're going to call this individual Peter, it's St. Peter. And you would be assuming that that Kephas in chapter 2, verse uh, 9 that we looked at earlier was St. Peter being called Kephas. Or is this a different individual happening to have that name? 
And is that the reason that St. Paul uses Petros in verses 8 and 9? Now, what gets more interesting is if you look at chapter 1, verse 18, talking about how St. Paul in the past had spent time in Jerusalem with this individual. And this, in context, you would think would have to be St. Peter, or would it? It surely suggests it would. And again, 15% Kifan, 42% Petron. So for those of you interested in such things, hopefully you found that uh, supplemental information helpful. Uh, otherwise, again, please check out the earlier video uh, that this is an addendum of to see the main points in it. I pray otherwise you found that edifying and interesting. Amen.